Hey Saints, um, it's something I have to tell you, and uh, first I wanted to let you know I'm not going to be uploading as many videos as I anticipated. And the reason why I came out here is my driveway is because, well, it's calm and it's peaceful and it's, it's, just look at the, look at it. It's my home right there. Anyway, um, things are getting really intense and I'm not going to be on here as much because I'm getting a lot of deliverance cases. In addition to the deliverance cases that I'm getting, um, I'm also getting people ministering to me that are referred to me asking about Christ. So, preaching the gospel. And I'm also trying to get my house in order even more. Speaking of getting your house in order, the reason why the Lord had me come on here is to warn you people. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Can you, can you see how breathtaking that is? Can you see that? All right. To warn you people that he's coming and he's coming very very soon now um i've exposed to you false prophets told you warn you about testing the spirits i've also told you to test the spirits with me to see if if my fruits are godly you go to jesus christ you test it with him you don't trust what anybody says you only trust the lord jesus christ um but the lord is coming told me to tell you people that the signs are going to get worse. Um, I told you people that I had a dream that there was going to be a full eclipse. I told you this in the summer. This summer just went by. It was July. And that prophecy came to pass. I also told you of a red blood moon that was going to occur. It was unscheduled. That prophecy came to pass. Um... Other brothers and sisters had that dream as well, not just me. The double, the recent double eclipse that we had of the sun, ladies and gentlemen, that has never happened in history before. We also had a double rainbow that, is not, that has never happened in history before. NASA does not have an explanation for you people as to why that happened. I could tell you why. It's Bible prophecy. That's a sign of the times that Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus is coming very soon, ladies and gentlemen. He said for me to tell you people to watch the signs. He said, stay away from people that date set, that try to figure out God's plan, because they're never going to figure it out. He just told you people to watch the signs and watch how the signs are going to get worse. God said they're going to continue to get worse. So worse, the, the closer to God's arrival, the worse the signs of the times will come. Earthquakes in diverse places. Um... You'll see more volcanic eruptions. You'll see uh, wars, rumors of wars. You'll see that. It's going to escalate. You'll see unusual diseases popping up. I've told you that in a prior dream. And recently, the scientists discovered a 30,000-year-old virus in Siberia that they absolutely know nothing about. It is a very deadly pathogen. And they um, unthought it. And they're trying to harness it. But it is a very deadly pathogen. It makes AIDS... And cancer look like a birthday party. And it's not just that disease that, that they're awakening. It's others as well. Um, I told you about the warships of China. They told you there's five. There's actually seven off the coast of Alaska. Uh, they told you there's only one warship off the coast of Georgia. It's actually three. Those are scout ships. Um, they're sending data, intelligence, back to their respective countries. And they're planning to evade the United States. These ships are still there. And technically, they're not in U.S. waters. They're, the Chinese ships are outside of Alaska, 12 miles. And Georgia, and, and I'm sorry, Russia ships are outside of Georgia, less than 12 miles. But they're still in international waters. And they're still there. They're like scout ships. They're planning to invade the U.S. And I'm not trying to put fear in you guys. I'm just trying to warn you the signs of the times that we're living in. I'm going to close this broadcast by saying that I had a dream. I had this dream 
two nights ago, and I've been meaning to upload it. In this dream, I was in my workplace, just like regular, just working. And what happened was, was that I would hear people saying, did you hear? Did you hear? And then, I, you know, my coworkers were just whispering back and forth. Did you hear what happened? Did you hear what happened? So I'm like, what? What happened? So um, she said, look at the news. So we all went into the lobby of my workplace. And because um, they have this television there where you can watch the news. I think, it's, I think it was either the cafeteria or the lobby is where we went. No, it's the cafeteria. It's the cafeteria is big. It has a TV there. So we went into the cafeteria, and they played the the uh, the loudspeaker, or they played the television. Excuse me, you guys. And it's so beautiful. Oh, gee, it's so beautiful. Sorry, you guys. I just love God's glory so much. Um, look at that. Gorgeous. Anyway, they were playing the loudspeaker. And, I mean, the TV. And the TV, I see a news broadcast blurring that the United States is under attack. And the dream ended. I had another dream after that. That I was looking at a New York, a, a, a high school in New York. I believe it was a high school, John F. Kennedy in the Bronx that I went to. And um, it's like I saw people being pulled out by guards, different guards. Some, some of the guards look Middle Eastern. Um, they look. Iran, well, like I from Iran or somewhere in the Middle East, they looked Asian. I would say probably Chinese. And um, second, you guys. Sorry, you guys. Um, thought I saw something. That's another thing I need to talk to you about. Anyway, um, they look Middle Eastern or Chinese. Some of them, I mean, you could tell they had Chinese uniforms. You could tell they had, I think I've seen the emblem of, of, of Iran and various other Eastern nations. I think i also seen an emblem of ISIS. Like they were pulling people out of school, different kids. They were separating them. Um... Christians, they considered infidels. They were hauled off. The rest, they were, they were um, placed in the classrooms, but with different instructors teaching them different doctrines, doctrines of their faith. You know, it's Islam. Um, there were some doctrines about the New Age movement. And that dream ended. Another dream I had where... Remember I told you that I had a dream that the world, the United States looked like a third world nation. There was lots of... I, I even told you people that there were a lot of Mexicans here. I told you that. I told you that last year. Well, look around you. You know that our borders are open and, and Obama let in 30 million Mexican refugees. I told you that there was also, last year's dream, I also told you that there was um, uh, Middle Eastern, like Middle Eastern people here. They're bringing in Syrian refugees. A lot of them are, are posing as refugees, but they're actually from, from ISIS. So that dream is coming to pass little by little, ladies and gentlemen. I had that dream again where I've seen not only just Syrian and Mexican people living here. This world, look, this country looks like a third world nation. i also seen a bunch of black, of black people. I have nothing against any race. But I'm not talking about African Americans that were here. I'm talking about Africans, like from Libya, 
I'm sorry, Liberia, um, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Ghana, countries out there, the provinces within Africa, various, various African uh, nationalities were allowed to come into the United States. So um, I've seen that in my dream, like this latest dream that I had. Last year, I told you people that I, that the America looked like a third world nation, that I saw a bunch of Mexicans. That's what I told you people last year. And look, Obama opened the borders and 30 million Mexicans were allowed to walk, um, walk in. I also told you in that dream that I saw a bunch of Middle Eastern. He's opening up the borders to Middle Eastern people. Of course, they're coming in through the main borders, but he's accepting refugees from Syria. They're not even processed. They're not even going to be scanned. And he, your government, your Obama, is telling you people that... You can't guarantee they're not terrorists. In other words, if you look in between the lines, they are terrorists. Terrorists meaning ISIS. And the latest dream I had, which was last night, not only was Syrians being let in and Mexicans, also Africans. So this country looked like a third world nation. When I looked at the dream, I had an aerial view of it. I seen all those nationalities. This country looked like a third world nation. So... I just figure I'd give you people this update. Just to get mind you the times we're living in. I know the Shemitah year is here. People are saying, oh, nothing happened on 13th of September or the 14th of September. The Dow Jones did close to negative 269 points. The Federal Reserve is thinking of raising hikes. You know when they, when they raise interest rates? You know when they do that? When they are concerned about the economy collapsing. That's when they do that. So they're thinking of raising it because if they if they wasn't worried about anything, why are they thinking of raising the rates? They're thinking of raising the rates because they are worried about the state of the global economy, not just here. So don't sit there and get comfortable and think, oh, the Shemitah year came and went. This is gonna this th there's gonna be um, no economic collapse, ladies and gentlemen. The economy's already in trouble. There is gonna be economic collapse. The Bible prophesied it. Economy is, is in trouble. You really think that the unemployment rate is four point eight two percent? That's a lie. Do you really think that it makes sense for the gas prices to keep tumbling? Twenty now it's under twenty dollars, thirty dollars a barrel. You think that makes sense? It doesn't make any sense. And then they're saying the economy is doing well. The 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 gas, oil prices. You know, oil that we the revenue we get from oil prices from oil. That's the bulk of the United States' income. This country's broke. This country's weak. So don't sit there and think that, you know, everything's hunky-dory or everything's okay. Because they're lying to your face. The elites control everything. What you eat, what you see, what you buy. They control everything, even what the history books say. So don't sit there and say, you know, everything's fine. They want you to think everything's fine. That's what they want you to believe. They want you to believe that. Okay, so all I'm telling you people is to just wake up. Wake up. Don't get comfortable because the rapture is going to happen before you know it. And you don't want to be left behind for everything that's going to happen. Because when the rapture happens, that's when stuff is really going to get chaotic. It's getting worse between now and then. So don't get comfortable in saying what happened, what happened, nothing happened to Shemitah. On September 11, ladies and gentlemen, a mosque somewhere in the Middle East, I think 110 people died. 100 and something people died. Because God, the Lord Jesus Christ, struck that mosque dome, letting you people know that that's a false faith. Islam is a false faith. Allah is the devil, straight up. Muhammad is a false prophet and a child pedophile and a wife beater, straight up. I'm telling you people the truth. You need to go to Jesus Christ and, and get revelation directly from the Father like I do. And what was it? Yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, Mecca had to be um, evacuated. Thousands from Mecca had to be evacuated. So I'm not trying to sit here and, and scare you people. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just telling you, I'm watching for the signs. And you people need to watch for the signs. I told you, as I told you people before, it's very rare 
It's, in fact, it never happened to see a double rainbow and a double eclipse. That's bugged. Bug meaning, I'm, I'm using slang with you guys, meaning that that, has, that is a very unusual occurrence. NASA can't even explain that. How is it that the, the, the Earth stepped in front of the sun and then the moon stepped in between the Earth and the sun? That's not supposed to happen, ladies and gentlemen. That's only by the, the, the moving and the power of the Holy Spirit, of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why that happened. That's to tell you the signs of the time we're living in. God said there would be signs in the heavens. Jesus is coming. He told me to warn you people. He told me to warn you people to wake up. The elites, watch what, control what you watch. You know, Jesus Christ controls everything. And the reason why the elites control this much is because Jesus Christ allows it. And the Bible prophecies have to be fulfilled. And the elites play a role in Bible prophecy being fulfilled. So the elites manipulate what you watch, what you see. The debt system. They manipulate all that. So while you people are going to your job and you worried about what car that slut Kim Kardashian is wearing, or you worried about what um that he, she, Bruce Jenner, Caitlin, whatever he goes by, is wearing, or you worried about what that excuse my expression, scumbag Kanye West is doing. And yes, he is a scumbag because he tries to say that he's Jesus Christ and he actually has a Bible written about him taking Jesus Christ's name out. So I'm going to call him a scum. I'm going to call Kanye West a scumbag because he is a scumbag. Because there's only one God and that's Jesus Christ. Okay. So, so pardon my language. Okay. Because I'm full of righteous anger when he's trying to pretend. It's Kanye West is trying to pretend to be God and he's not. He's nothing but... He is the turd that comes out of my dogs behind. Forgive the expression. So is his slutty wife. And that's right. And, and this is for Kim Kardashian. Don't blame God for your problems, miss. Your problems are your problems. It ain't God's fault you're all messed up. That's your fault. You made the wrong choices. Don't put your problems on God. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, um, like I said, the Lord said, to warn you people, don't get comfortable. The elites got you with a veil over your face. They're controlling everything you watch, everything you see, everything you eat. I'm just telling you. While you're worried about these biggest load of crap, CNN and ABC and all these mainstream media news put out to you, and while you're worried about these, these uh, TV reality shows, while you're worried about what these celebrities are doing, The elites are moving behind your back. Meaning, meaning, okay, they're planning for your demise. The elites want the Antichrist to come forth. They want war. They want Bible prophecy to be fulfilled because they know that that battle of Gog and Magog is going to bring about the Antichrist. That's in my opinion. But a great catastrophe has to happen. That's in my opinion. I'm going to make something also known to you, ladies and gentlemen. The elites know that God is real. So all these atheists or whatever, that's part of their little system to make you think, to make you people believe that Christianity is a false faith, that it's not real. But it is. God is real. Christianity is the true faith. The other faiths are just the turds that come out of my dogs behind. Jesus Christ is Lord. And also, did you know that the elites know that the rapture is real? They know that Jesus Christ is coming. They know that Jesus Christ is real. Just like they know that the Antichrist is real. They have their Antichrist. This hasn't been revealed yet. I don't know who it is. In my opinion, the elites have their Antichrist. And the only way for the Antichrist to be revealed, this is what their, this is their mind frame, elite's mind frame, is that a great catastrophe has to happen. That's their mind frame. But at all in all, Jesus Christ controls everything. Nothing happens without Jesus Christ say so. So it's Jesus Christ that is going to allow the Antichrist to be revealed in his own timing. But you people need to wake up because the elites know Jesus Christ is real. And the elites know that the rapture is going to happen. And they know that when the rapture happens, all hell is going to break loose on the planet. On the planet meaning there's going to be so much chaos. The elites are the ones that are in control of CERN too. They want the gates of hell to open. 
So I told you people in videos before, I believe that CERN is playing a role in Bible prophecy. God already moved his hand. He said, you people want to mess with the unknown and you want to open up the supernatural world. He's not going to let those gates to be closed. They will only be closed when God says so. Jesus Christ. So you people need to get your heads out of the TV because I think it's depleting your brain cells. You people, I say it out of love for you. You people need to wake up. This is not to all use, most use. Get off the TV. Stop letting it deplete your brain cells. Stop worrying about what these sluts and, and you know, Kim Kardashian and Mariah Carey are doing and all them other satanic celebrities. Stay in the word of God and do what you have to do to live for the will of the Father. Because time is short. Time is short. And then when, when, it, when stuff really hits the fan... Okay, because a lot of people say, oh, we're, we're fear mongers, us watchmen warning you. But when stuff really hits the fan, the first thing that's going to be come out of your mouth is I should have listened to them when they warned me. I wouldn't be here if, this if I would have listened to them. I would have made it up in that rapture. It's up to you people, man. I'm not sitting here. I love everybody, but it's up to you people to make the right choice. With that being said, have a good day. God bless and keep looking up.